Hello everybody, this is Jen from Scrap and Posh, and I am here to share my December dailies with you. I have 2017 through 2019, and I did a full tutorial on, I think I've done all of these, um, but you can see they're all the Bow Bunny Miscellaneous Me albums, which I don't think they have anymore. I have one more for next year, so I'm going to look to see if I can find some more to order. So I'm going to start with the latest and go backwards. This is the one I just finished today. The tutorial just went up today and we're going to start um, again. Bow Bunny Miscellaneous Me. I love these little three ring binders. It's like a six by eight but it measures more like a nine by eight and a quarter with like a one and a half inch spine yeah so these set um, side by side really nice and all of them have a gold Christmas sticker and the year in red uh, the years are different stickers but so uh, I left the fronts plain and uh, the inside plain but uh, maybe I'll eventually fill this out so on this one, I'm going to go through this pretty quick, but to the best of my memory. This is a free sampler thing, or they call it a, I think a cover page or something, for from Rose Color Days when I ordered some washi, and then this washi is from Michael's. I just put a white piece of paper behind it so you can tell, um, so you can see what that says in the foil. Um, the front page is just December Daily 2019 and then uh, event number one because I go by events and not days is my December Daily because that's the first thing that you know I, I started doing. Um, this is a Christmas card I got. It's my favorite Christmas card. Michelle Anderson sent that to me. Thank you very much. She is, um, I'll put her uh, YouTube channel in the description below. I uh, also took a picture of it. This is event number two and Christmas cards from families and friends. I just wrote on there. Event three is baking cookies. We baked what I thought was a lot of cookies but it didn't go too far. Um, baby Liam is number four. This is my my uh, new nephew, my only nephew. And then I did a little shaker pocket with some sequins and some wood pieces. And right now I just have washi tape holding that. Um, I may get my, or when I get my little O oh, fuse out, that's what I'll, uh, I'll fuse it then. I got some really old green enamel stars and then some pebble stickers. The other side of the shaker pockets, um, some very old stickers. I cannot even tell you who they're from. Spelling, Joy, and this was an artistic studio creation design team project from the Sweetest Christmas Collection by Mente. So most of the papers that I have here are that design. So event number five is Santa Claus, and number six is just our Christmas card. And I mounted that on some cardstock. Yeah, so I mounted on the back of this Mary paper from an old Bella Boulevard collection. Some of the cut aparts from the Mente collection for day, um, or I'm sorry, event seven, and that's my wreath. And it's not a wreath though, I don't know what it's called. It's like a, it's like a wreath thing. And then number eight was wrapping presents. And I have one of the cut apart, or the uh, journaling cards, the Santa journaling card. And then number nine was presents. Uh, these are presents for neighbors and people that live out of state. So number nine is baking, or um, not baking, but sending those presents, um, gifts for friends and family, just in case you didn't know what it was. And then I used this old flare that I had, which I can't remember who that's from. Probably Pebbles. Okay, so number 10 is Nova, and I just wanted to capture her personality, which is just fun. <clears throat> and I used this little snowman, 
and then I pulled out the blues and this is also one of the cut parts the journaling cards that I used uh, I just used that side uh, event number 11 is a double page spread we have putting up the tree so um, this is a six by eight print. I had done the pockets measure six by eight and a quarter. So I have a little bit of a gap on the top and bottom. That's okay because I used the back for the next page. Uh, I have some old stickers, some, um, silhouette cuts that I did a long time ago out of doodle bug paper. One of the journaling cards there. Perfect for the three by four. And then a whole bunch of Christmas trees on vellum that I got to use from stickers that I've had forever. Um, a die cut circle and then a, um, it was a sticker, a circle sticker. I put the 11 in there and a little doodle bug Christmas tree along with a dimensional sticker. And this is a doodle bug um, border strip. Number 12 is shopping, and this is when I got to the point where I could actually organize my material, so you'll start to see, I feel um, some new stuff was introduced because it was on top, <laughs> and um, some more Christmas tree stickers, smaller ones, and some snowman stickers, which are really cute, um, and this day, of course, is shopping. I have this picture of this horribly long line, and a gift tag, and then some presents there. This was another, this was the bag that my stickers came in, I think, from Rose Colors Day. Uh, I think I did a haul on this, but I forgot these two. This was like a freebie, and then these are little tiny foil bows. And this is for my planner. Uh, my little planner, I'm going to put one of those little bows there. So since she sent them to me, right? And I put it on there, Cricut. So, and this is um, this is a really nice like uh, what do they call these bags? Cello bag, cellophane bag. And our card has this cute rose gold. So, I don't know if you can see this, the bag has little pink bows on it. And then I just taped the. Uh, business card there it says rose colored days down there and then her business information on the, is on the back go to rosecoloreddays.com she has some really cute stuff uh, I have another event here which is 13 I spelled out 13 at the bottom to keep the interest uh, all music related got the clarinet um, lots of music notes I pulled out some non Christmas stuff for this and then as of right now, I just have washi tape holding my shaker pockets, which I used the cut apart, fussy cut some images out, and then added the sequins to that. Day, or event number 13. No, sorry, that was event number 13, and that's Christmas concerts. Event number 14 is Madison's birthday. It's a double, spray, double page spread, and it actually was two different days. But it's the same event, so um, yeah, some presents, the cake, um, unwrapping presents. We were doing some other stuff, and then this was a different day. Uh, and we, use, I used one of the journaling cards, three by four cut aparts, and this bright pink fourteen. And day fifteen is the cats. I have Mew, and um, we just call him Kitty, but his name is Zeus. Uh, along with some pebbles and just some old stickers and then these two kitty stickers that I got off of um, oh Aliexpress I think one of those websites so I don't order from too often but I did order some stickers I thought they were cute this page is for caroling and I found all my silver bells and jingle stickers that I could possibly find and die cuts and stuck them on there pebbles and doodle bug on this one and the background page is the sweetest Christmas from Mente. And then we, I got some really old stickers. One of the smaller, it's the 6x6 paper pad cut apart. And then um, some doodle bug and then just some really old stickers. And that is our 
uh, number 17 is our gingerbread house. Number 18 is our dog panda. And I went with nice pinks and mints and stuff because she is, you know, she's a girl. And she's, uh, she's soft and fluffy. And then I just took a whole bunch of the, this one fell out. <laughs> This is why I need to seal them. Why I need to fuse them, but I just got some gold washi tape on there for now. Uh, the one gingerbread house and then a lot of the gingerbread star cookies and mints from the cut aparts, along with some sparklies. Uh, number 19 is uh, the ugly sweater, which she got the Krampus ugly sweater, and I absolutely love it. And I just have some. DC, I think these are DCWV stickers and then Pebble stickers and then these stickers are right on the outside of the pocket page protector and they're super, super old. Uh, number 20 is King. Excuse me, he is our oldest dog and he was also on the Christmas card but um, I got a different picture of him and I just wanted to feature him by himself. Um, I took the sweetest... Um, Sweetest Christmas paper with the Christmas tree and like in the kitchen. And then this one was from the cut aparts. It's a little smaller, but I went ahead and put that on top and it actually gives it more dimension, I think, than if it were the same size. So I thought that was really cute. You can kind of see the dimension there. And then I had some little red heart die cuts and some sequins. Um, if we have Friend Miss for number 21 and uh, one of the cut parts and just on the on the back of this page uh, oh this one this page is this sweater paper was from Bell Boulevard so I thought that was cute uh, just some old stuff we had um, that was 21 22 we had like an early Christmas present um, because she needed it, so we gave it to her early. It was on the day before Christmas Eve. Uh, 23 is actually Christmas Eve, where we read the night before Christmas. And 24 is her Christmas with Jared and their costumes. I thought that was cute. And event number 25 is Christmas morning at our house, and it has Madison with her stocking and Nova open with her toy that Madison bought her. I put these dog paws on. And yeah, and this is, um, this is Mente, and this one is Bella Boulevard, which is just pink to go with the piggy. And then lots of presents, Joy, the 25th, and stuff like that on there. Those are the house for home, Christmas morning, and presents. Event number 26 is a double paid spread. We have Christmas Day. Um, that's at Linda's house. And I used this bow that I got in a swap and some other um, ephemera. So, and there's me and Madison. We both have, like, tool in our hair. So that's why I have the bow on there. And yeah, that's stuck on the outside of the page protector so it doesn't make the whole thing bulky. Some ephemera, this old reindeer uh, wood veneer, and some doodle bug cut aparts. And then I got to use event number 26, Christmas, some more of the ephemera, and there's me with one of my gifts from my sister-in-law who gave me a Harry Potter planner. Can't wait to use it. This is the back of the Doodle Bug cut aparts, and I added a new one with this Mr. and Mrs. Claus because there's my brother and his uh, wife. Uh, just some old dimensional stickers, and this is family and friend or family that uh, are out of town that we didn't actually get to see this holiday season, so I gave them their own page. This is Aunt Patty and Aunt Jenny. Number 28 was Christmas movies, and we just watched The Christmas Story this year, so I didn't have anything else to add. And I used this Believe wood embellishment that I painted with. I don't want to um, fresco finish paper artsy sherbet opaque. And it's really pretty pale pink color 
And then this is just a piece of the 6x6 Mente paper, and it uh, it does good all by itself. If I did anything, I may add some sequins to it, but it doesn't really need it. Event number 29 is Christmas Jammies, and I did the same thing. This is the top of the 6x6 paper. Um, this is the bottom of another sheet, and I just put winter there because she has these warm, cozy jammies on, and they're blue, and I wanted to pull in my blue stickers and embellishments. Event number 30 is um, Madison's friends playing the VR that she got with her Christmas money. So that was 30, and same stuff. This is a whole sheet of the Mente. Not a lot I needed to do. I did take and layer this piece of uh, cut apart on top of this already. Uh, it was... Um, a platter. It was a tray. It had another house on it, but the house went right underneath the picture. So I cut out a, the new cake and put it on that tray to make it look like it was a full um, cake and not stuck behind the picture. And that's 30. And then finally, 31 is um, New Year's Eve at midnight or the beginning of New Year's Day. I had this December card. This is one of the cut aparts. This was a gift tag somebody gave me and it had some nice shoes on it. And then this is one of the small uh, journaling cards from the 6x6 pad. And I just used the back of it, the frame. And that's it for my 2019. And stay tuned. Well, let's just do it. 2018. That took 13 minutes. Okay, we're going to do this. This one's going to go faster because I don't remember everything. 2018 and it's flatter. This one I used primarily the... Bo, bo, no. Oh, dang. It was... If I remember halfway through, I'll tell you. But I do have tutorials for everything. I think everything here. It was a really nice collection. It came with the numbers already and it had... Um, a lot of houses in it so gosh I want to say bow bunny but I don't remember we'll we'll go um so event one is the wreath two is community band concert which did not fall in December this time around it was in November three is our was my Christmas crafts and I have a pocket letter and then some shaker tags four is um, a gingerbread house and it was actually this all says it was a gingerbread house that we made but they were also doing projects for their German which the gingerbread was part of that um, day five is a double page spread for the Christmas tree six is baking cookies seven is Madison's birthday she got this big stack of books. Uh, eight is Linda's birthday, which kind of in the in 2019 it got put together. Number nine is dinner with me and Thomas. Ten is we had these cute little pop ones, and I got her those again this year. So they're called pop something, and they're you make your own little dishes and candies and they taste like crap but they are so fun to make <laughs> they're like bean paste or something um, FLC caroling is 11 12 is Santa Claus 13 is Nova we got Nova <laughs> 14 is um, a new stocking for Madison 15 is her concert, so you can see kind of like the repeat stuff. 16 is panda, or no, grooming. 16 is getting the dogs groomed because King and Panda got groomed. And 17 is my very best attempt at trying to get a pet photo. Uh, 18 is uh, pop and cooking, that's what they're called. So this first pop and cook and um, uh, 
I think, oh, I guess I got two poppin' cookin', so I, I bet I forgot that I had put this in there and, and made it again. Um, 19 is King, and I got some really cute pictures of King and some of the cut-apart or journaling cards from the collection. Uh, number 20 is the snow, or the little bit of snow that we got, and then along with some of the greenery that we still had, uh, confused days and it looks like some of my cards fell out so they're probably in the trash now <laughs> but there's empty spots here it looks like they fell out good to know maybe i will secure the other ones somehow um 21 was madison's cat 22 is wrapping presents at least none of the numbers fell out 23 is panda sorry about the barking she's outside 24 is Christmas Eve at Tom's aunt's house. 25 is Christmas morning. Um, 26, now this one looks like the number fell out. 26 is Christmas day. 27 is Christmas jammies. 28 is um, a friend miss. Uh, 29 was planning. Maybe I didn't finish. 30 is um, we had fun with the sorting hat. Uh, and then I have this random picture of this flower because 31 is New Year's Eve. So that is 2018. It looks like I could do just a little bit more in that one, but it was a year ago, so I probably won't. All right, I made up a little bit of time with that one. We're going to want to flip through 2017 really quick. This one is a bit bulkier, and I learned some things from this one, like kind of what not to do. Um, one of them being trying to put pictures on a page without a page protector. Um, so I don't remember much about this, but uh, one is uh, Santa which is a double page spread. Two is Christmas Crafts, which is also a double page spread. That is my Harry Potter advent calendar that I forgot to get out this year. Three is Christmas uh, lights and Christmas ornaments decorating my stepmom's house. Uh, concerts, number four, maybe they're all double page spread. <laughs> number five is the um, caroling Number six is the wreath. Nope. Okay, so number five is caroling. So this is probably days. Number five is caroling and the wreath. Number six is a friend miss. Number seven is the tree. Number eight is snow. And again, I would not do this again by putting the picture without a page protector. Just personal preference. It gets tore up and denty, and I don't like it. Number eight, and that is not a functional tag, apparently. <laughs> Number eight is snow. Did I already say that? Number nine, uh, this day I had a flat tire. I had to go to Mansfield for um, to take Linda to the doctor. Um, I did get a new car. And then Linda went some places with her friends. So number 10 is King, and we have a double parade spread. I love this picture of King. It just shows his personality. This one is a good one too because he's just he's just peeking, peeking over, and I just love it. Uh, 11. I did a craft fair. I had a had a booth. Some Madison's friends. Number 12 is Madison taking her ACT test and getting her driver's permit. Or she did her, wait, yeah, she took it. I just put her scores on there and then her driver's permit picture there. Um, cookies for 13. Cookies and cake, it looks like. 14 is... It says Merry Birthday, and that's Madison and Linda's birthday, and there's uh, just our celebration. So I kind of do like that. It was not the 14th day of Christmas, though. 15, I got Madison's cake, and 
Uh, that's pretty much it for this page. Uh, here's her presents, and that is 16. Um, I got her a subscription for a, a called Japan Crate, which is every month they deliver something for you. I got her six month subscription. Uh, shaker pocket, and I have sealed that one, so everything stayed in there. Uh, the cat is number 17. Again, you see repeating things. Number 18 is Panda. This one, I love this picture. Again, there's no page protector. This one stayed pretty, um, un, I don't know, pretty flat, and it looks okay. So I'm all right with that. Maybe it's because it's between two that didn't have a lot of dimension. Uh, just the back of that's plain. I did a whole shaker pocket here with a couple of pictures in it, which is fun. Uh, flare badge and some sequins and stuff, so that was fun. And then the back has the pictures again. And this is 19, we were shopping. 20 is wrapping presents, which we had fun. Uh, 21 is my early Christmas present to myself as I bought a Martha Stewart scrapbooking table like thing and put it together. 22 is Madison's first real date. It's the first time they went somewhere by themselves. Um, she had been going out with him for a while, but it was their first real date. 23 is Christmas Day at home. 24 is Christmas. Oh, 23 we did Christmas early, so it was day 23. 24 was uh, Christmas Eve. We went to Tom's aunt's house. There's all the presents, and then read the night before Christmas. Uh, 25 is Christmas uh, morning, and what for just us, me, Madison, and Tom, and the dogs. <laughs> and 26 then is Christmas at Linda's house. And my brother and his wife, uh, fiance at the time, were there. And I called this 26, and I called family uh, 27. 28. Um, 28, I have like warm wishes and love. 29 was Madison's, again, with their pajamas at, at his... Uh, Parents' house, 29.30 is Christmas pajamas, and I had this 6x8 picture that I cut to fit into the 3x4 and 4x6. And finally, 31 is New Year's Eve, Oreos and milk at midnight. So, there are my last three December dailies. Sorry, it was such a long video, but I thought it would be fun to kind of look at things and how they progress. So I hope you join me next year. I have one more of these albums. I'm going to go and try and find more so that I can continue on with this tradition. So these are growing up on the shelf just like this. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next, th next time. Have a great new year. Thanks a lot and bye-bye.